What's up, dudes? We're out here at Dermtown on a lovely spring day. I think the weather is supposed to be in the high 70s, so we're out here having a blast. Uh, we're out here with Hannah, Nick, Caleb, and we're about to send ourselves on our way down to the sea trail. My poor Yamaha's been neglected ever since I bought the KTM, so I figured today would be a prime opportunity to dust her off out of the garage and go ahead and send her. It's Easter weekend and everyone and their mother is out here riding, so we're heading our way over to the beginner loop, doing a little warm-up before we get into the fun single track obstacle stuff. And we're just looking out for people, trying to make sure we don't die. Get hit by a, a drunk driver on a side-by-side -side or something. When I got the GoPro on, I really don't care for leading because it makes for some pretty boring footage. If I'm out with my buddies, I want to record them riding, but these guys, I don't think, really know where they're going, so I go ahead and pass them, and I, I lead everybody to the B trail. We are going to follow B all the way to lower B, which we'll continue to follow until we see C trail on our right. I think B Trail at Durhamtown is one of those hidden gems. A lot of people just cross the road, and they go ahead and hit the majority of the property, and they think that the side, like to the left of the parking lot, is really only for beginner loop. But you can find some fantastic single track. I don't think it's been maintained in a little while, but that makes it even better for riding, especially if you're racing local hair scramble series, and you get to kind of experience uh, the burnt end, ruts, roots, all the hazards, down trees, stuff like that. It's great practice. I haven't rode the Copperhead Trail in a little while, but you're probably bound to get stuck in a mud rut. I have a couple of videos of me hitting Copperhead on my channel, so definitely check them out if you haven't already. It was pretty dry and dusty out today, but off the beaten path, you're bound to find some mud and nasty conditions, and unfortunately one of our friends kind of finds out the hard way later on. We end up finding Sea Trail, and none of my friends want to go first. <laughs> so I take the initiative, go ahead and send it, and I kind of watch from the other side, and see if I can get some good footage of these guys hitting this creek crossing. I might have said the phrase send it maybe 80 times yesterday. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty good at peer pressuring people into doing things, and I figure that's the best way to learn. Just go ahead and friggin' send it, buddy. Yeah! One obstacle after the other, so after we get past a creek crossing, there's a couple down trees here. And Caleb and I go ahead and send it, but. You gotta show him, Frank. Nick says a little prayer for himself before he eats crap. <laughs> oh, the recluse! 
Lucas. <laughs> oh, we got it. <laughs> he doesn't ride woods. <laughs> That's one thing I adore about my KTM is that it's so stall resistant. The two stroke just keeps on lugging, but my Yamaha. Unfortunately, just stalls out pretty frequently. Something wrong? No, the trail stops right here anyway. Oh, you just cut it out? Oh! Dude, is that a turkey? Yeah. That's a goddamn turkey. It's a gobbler. Oh, he got stuck in the bush. Y'all ready for Thanksgiving? This turkey got stuck in these vines right here. He got tangled up. Yeah, he did though. He got his feathers stuck up in these vines right here and he couldn't get out. Now he's dead. Poor bastard. That sucks. <laughs> Damn, poor guy. Why didn't he eat his wing? Is your, is your GoPro on? Hell yeah. Poor turkey. Rigor mortis, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was tired of waiting for Caleb to finish fondling dead turkeys, so I go ahead and pass him and I lead the pack here for a moment until we come up on some treacherous territory. One habit I've been trying to break myself out of is following the main nasty, terrible rut. So uh, after Aeonia, the On the Pipe podcast talked some crap about me. kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. One of the guys goes, I don't know how half these riders made it from their pickup truck to the starting line. <laughs> um, and the video that I'm talking about was the one that I ate crap on that big old rut that went over the handlebars. And, uh, you know, I don't have to go through the worst line. So I get stuck on the beginning part of it, and I manage to work my way out of it. I'm not doing that again. This is a fun little part here, so if we get to this huge downhill with some down trees and some big old ruts, I block off the worst line and I try to have all my friends go ahead and hit the right side. Oh man. I don't know where they're take at. take this way. That rut is massive. Yeah. I'm definitely not hopping that route, and I got a feeling, dude, as soon as I go down this ledge, I'll get stuck in that big-ass rut, and then even if I make it to the top, I'll get stuck in that route. Yeah. You go first. <laughs> of course. Yes, master. Nailed it. 
Go this way. Huh? Do this line. This is where me and Nick, uh, that's where I took that picture of you, Nick, right there, remember? <laughs> Oh, you didn't. Jeez. Well, time to do it again. Hit this line. Go all the way on the outside. You got it. Give her some gas. You got it. Hell yeah, you do. Send it. Send it. Right. In the middle? No, right. But I can't make that turn. I'm gonna get stuck in that Right turn. then left. You got it. Come on. Put your outside peg. Do what? Put, put your right foot on the peg and walk it up with your other foot. Right there? No, there. That, I'm literally going to hit that and then stop. No, you got it. You want me to do it? No. Yeah, she got it. <laughs> Go do it, brother. You got it. I got tired of watching Nick here, so I decided to go ahead and send it into the worst line possible. I'll take a little selfie after that little escapade. If you don't know, Hannah and I became friends because I parked next to her at my first ever Sorks race. I saw that she drove a Jeep. I pulled up next to a Jeep, and we just became friends ever since. And it's kind of funny because most of my riding group, most people I hang out with and ride with, uh, I met them at the first Sorks race in Sparta in 2023. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah and Nick have microphone Bluetooth headsets in their helmets, which is pretty freaking sweet. And Hannah got a phone call from my buddy Brock, so he's at a parking lot. I told him to go meet him at MX4, but I'm gonna head to the parking lot and go ahead and grab my camera and get some sick shots of us riding. So I'm gonna head back to the truck and see if I can find Mr. Brock Angle. Oh. Hannah yeah, takes a tumble here, but she picks herself right back up and keeps on riding. Damn. Yeah, you do. I carry my own weight around here. 
<laughs> Where's my damn kickstand? Good to see you, bro. Likewise, dude. Are we gonna hit four? Hell yeah. You want me to bring my camera? Yeah, you got some mud on it. Do I? Yeah. Wipe that motherfucker. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hold on. Give me a wink. Oh! oh. Thumbnail. <laughs> Ain't you got a recluse in that thing? Yeah. Send it. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. I attempt to keep up with Brock here on the uh, D trail, but it doesn't go very well. He's long gone. Finger in the butt. <laughs> Finger in your butt. Stuck it up in there and moved it around a little bit. Okay, I didn't even know he was eating it. That's so funny. Dude. It's like, free race poop. <laughs> You're so serious, dude. <laughs> You're so serious. I took some photos once we got to MX4. A bunch of my friends were out riding. Austin Strickland and Oakley Safford, a bunch of his buddies. They were all out there at 4. I took pictures of all the homies. They're on my Facebook photography page, 559 Photography. So go ahead and give that bad boy a follow if you haven't already. And we're out here trying to warm up, trying to keep on uh, attempting to keep pace with Mr. Brock Engel. I don't hit tracks very often, so I'm pretty rusty, but I attempt to do a little whippy action, and unfortunately all I, all I can really do is move the handlebars to the right a little bit. So <laughs> once I improve on my lack of talent, maybe I'll start going to the left, and then maybe I'll actually make my bike go sideways.
run into sexy Sean McClory over here at MX6. I did that one last mid east. We take a little hydration and pickle break at the truck and then we're back out riding over at Trail 3. I think it used to be called MX3, but for some reason they renamed it. Maybe it's because it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but this is a very fun, fast, flowy track out in the middle of, I think it's near the E section. We spun a couple laps over at MX3 and a couple people had to leave, but we end up uh, on our way back to the truck seeing a couple ladies on a four-wheeler. So Brock's got some choice words for him. I believe he said, you girls are hauling ass! On our third expedition, I peer pressure our new friend Michael into hitting some hill climbs on his 2013 RMZ 450. You ready to hit some hill climbs? Sure. Let's fucking send it, buddy. This poor fella fell asleep at the bars here, takes a little nap on the side of the trail in the mud. For Michael's first hill climb, I told him that the sketchiest one was the easiest one, so that hopefully he conquers it, and then I tell him after the fact that it was the hardest one, so he has the confidence to keep hitting all of them.
Okay, that's narrow. That's very narrow. <laughs> If you made it to this point, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. That was a friggin' awesome Easter Saturday. Uh, pleasure riding with everybody, and I'll see you guys in the next video.